just bought the coolest and biggest shark I have ever owned in my entire life. I literally went to the store and I saw this shark for 700 beans. I've been dropping beans like crazy recently, guys. My last video, I dropped 300. This video, $700 for this shark, but is one that you never, rarely, you rarely come across these things at the stores here in Florida. So I posted two polls on my community tab. I posted this one right here, which asks you guys, I just saw an expensive shark, should I buy it? Almost 99% of you guys said yes. Then I posted this poll right here, which asks you guys if I should get the shark, even though it entails breaking down the freshwater pond. And still the majority of you guys said, yes, do it. I know some of you guys wanted me to keep the freshwater pond, but I am a saltwater, born and raised saltwater guy. I mean, there's saltwater in my veins. So all my crams are, are saltwater now. I'm going strictly saltwater because that's where the coolest fish are, best fish are, the most badass fish are, awesome predatory fish are in the saltwater game. So let's rewind to the beginning of the week when I had to break down this freshwater tank. I first had to remove the awesome piece of driftwood, the multiple pieces of driftwood in this tank. There was three in total, big, nice pieces of driftwood for the big freshwater pond at Jack's house and our two little turtle shelves that we had in there. I had to get rid of those as well. Now step two to transforming the freshwater into the saltwater pond involved getting the pond ready to be drained. So I removed the outtake of the filter and put it down the driveway so it can drain the pond and also went in there with the siphon and started siphoning up any of that gravel and stuff on the bottom of the sand, made the sand look really nice and clean and crisp. So that is a perfect clean pond when we add our brand new shark today. Now step three guys was actually taking the fish out of the pond and boy did I have a lot of fish in there. I had a bunch of koi in there. I had a, I had a big warm mouth fish that was really, really cool. And I also had a couple of really cool cichlids. I had a bright yellow one, some blue ones, pretty cool fish, but it was time for them to go. I actually tried scooping the fish out with one net and it was almost impossible. So I went with the double net technique and it was flawless. I got these things out in less than five minutes. I put them all in this little bucket and then eventually dumped them into their holding container with an aerator in there. Thankfully, I have a perfect spot for these guys. My friend actually loves Koi and he's gonna be taking these guys to his aquarium so I know they're going to a great home. They were awesome fish while we had them, but it is time to move on back into the saltwater game instead of that fresh water. Now step four guys, which you guys are all probably thinking, yes, step four was actually removing the snapping turtle from the freshwater pond. He's been in here for a long time and he's gotten so big. I got him when he was about three inches and now he's the size of maybe like three three baseballs. He's huge now. For now, I moved him into another little container over by the koi and he is just so big. He's, he's almost the entire size of my hand. It's crazy to see how big he's gotten in such a short amount of time. More on this guy a little bit later in the video. Step five, now that all the fish are out of the pond, it's time to drain it completely and get started on the saltwater mini pond 2.0. I've had this freshwater pond for such a long time, but now it's time to move on to bigger and better things. Saltwater pond 2.0 coming in hot. I can't wait to show you guys what's gonna actually be going in this pond. And now we are here with the brand new saltwater mini pond 2.0. It is spectacular. 300 gallons of salt water, baby. It's pretty much the perfect aquarium for sharks and stingrays because it's circular. That's what makes it, that's why I love it so much because we can actually get some nice sharks and stingrays in here. They won't bang their head up against the glass. They can just swim and swim and they would look so good in here. I also got a nice light for the back of the pond. I'm also gonna get like two more and put them on top of the pond just like the other one so it's nice and bright in here. And when I stick that GoPro under the water, we can see everything that goes on in this pond. So I wanna make sure the lighting is perfect. But for now, we're sticking with the one light, but eventually I'm gonna get some more. Now currently guys, there's nothing in the pond except sand and water, but we're gonna be adding to it slowly. I even got one thing today to spice up the pond a bit. Just like these guys over here, we got some big nice rocks in there. So I did get one nice rock for today's pond. I'm not sure how much rock I'm going to be adding because I wanna get sharks and stingrays and they like room to swim. But maybe if we're gonna get some nice eels in here. I'll get a couple more rocks. You guys let me know what you think in the comments. For now, we're just going to stick with the one rock and see how this shark does in here once we put him in. So let's get our rock in the saltwater pond. This is the first rock going in. I'm pumped every time I set up a new tank or pond. I'm always really excited and I'm especially excited for this one because of the insane fish I'm about to show you. You guys should be pumped too. It's going to be awesome. So let's get our little rock in there. It looks pretty solid. Let me know what you guys think. I'm going to need to add some more, but for now, we're rocking with this one here and 
If I see something epic at the store that I have to have and it, and it needs some more rock, then we'll get some more rocks for the pond. Now back to Mr. Snapping Turtle here. I know some of you guys had a mini heart attack when I said I was getting rid of everything in the freshwater pond, but I just couldn't get rid of this guy today. Now let me know by dropping a like on this video if you guys want me to keep this dude. I love him, he's a beast. I'm gonna try to figure out the best setup I can for this dude, but for now I made a little aquarium next to the ponds. It's a little 10 gallon, just for the next couple days while I sort everything out. So I'm not sure if I want to build him a new setup or if I want to buy a new aquarium for him but for now he's gonna do well in here I put a little log in there for him so we can get up out of the water and I actually already fed him in that thing and he's already eating so he hasn't missed a beat he's just as comfortable as always and he'll be chilling in that mini tank until we get him a new aquarium now it's time for the moment you've all been waiting for the reason why you clicked on this video is to see that epic shark now this is easily one of the best sharks I've ever owned in my life it actually is the best shark I've ever owned in my life so when you first see him get those names going in your head because I want this guy to be a staple on the channel. So he's gotta have an awesome name when he's swimming around in here. Now everyone cross your fingers that he does well. Sharks are super finicky. I've literally been acclimating this guy for over an hour. So I'm really making sure that, that both of the waters are the same and that it is perfect for him to go in because sharks are extremely sensitive. Just like stingrays, they're so sensitive. If anything is wrong, they will not make it. So I'm acclimating this guy really well and cross your fingers that he does awesome in this pond. I wanna wake up tomorrow and I want him already eating. That's the best thing that can ever happen. Now I've had a bunch of bamboo sharks and I've even hatched bamboo sharks from their eggs, but I have never had a horn shark before. Check this guy out, he is amazing. He was worth every single penny of that $700 price tag. And in my opinion, he is much cooler than the bamboo sharks. Bamboo sharks are really cool, but they also tend to hide in the rocks and they don't really move around that much. These guys love to swim and they're super active and he's perfect addition for this pond. Now the reason I made this pond specifically for him is because he's a little bit too big for the mini pond because I don't want him to eat my other bamboo sharks and my eels and stuff like that. And he's a little bit too small for the giant pond. So I wanna grow him out in this 300 gallon and eventually get him really big and then transfer him over to the giant saltwater pond. Plus with this new pond, it gives us a ton of freedom when it comes to buying new fish because we can actually get some of the some of the bigger sized fish. We can get some decent sized fish like triggers, groupers, bigger eels, some stingrays in here. This, this pond allows us to do that. So I am so excited for the many possibilities that are about to come with this tank. We can get some insanely cool fish for this mini pond. We don't need to just get the little dudes for the mini mini pond. Now we can get some medium size dues for this pond. Now it is time for the moment of truth. Let's get this guy in the pond. This dude is about 16 to 18 inches, so he's decently sized. And I have to be really careful picking these dudes up because they're called horn sharks for a reason. They got two big horns that stick out of both of their top fins. And if they get you, it will hurt. So I gotta be careful not getting pricked by this guy. And this is easily the biggest shark we've had in the pond. Here he goes in the pond. He looks insane in here, guys. That is crazy. Let's go. I am so pumped about this shark. This is the coolest thing we've ever had in one of our tanks. This is easily, this trumps it all. I am a huge shark aquarium guy. I absolutely love them. They're easily the coolest things you can get. And look at him just swim around like crazy. This is what he's gonna do all day. He's got tons of space in here. So we should do really well. But like I said, sharks are super finicky. So we just gotta wait and see how he does. I have a feeling he's gonna do awesome in here though. I am so stoked for this new shark. This is the most excited I've been in a long time when buying a fish. You guys are really gonna enjoy this dude as well. And I hope we can feed him soon. I can't wait to go catch some epic things for this dude and do some epic feedings. These guys love to eat shrimps, crabs, clams, so we can go out there and catch a bunch of stuff for this dude and capture it all on camera. And I love how he just swims around so much, the little black spots he's got on him and the horn sticking up, he looks so good. The first ever addition to the mini pond is an absolute perfect one. This dude is awesome. Now guys, it's the next day actually, it's the next day. It's over 24 hours since I put him in the pond and check him out, he's still swimming around. He's actually right there under the bubbles. I'll show you guys him when he starts swimming around just a bit, but it's been over 24 hours and he's doing great. I actually, not gonna lie, last night it was like one in the morning and I'm like, you know what, I'm nervous. I let me go check on him. So I went to go check on him. He was swimming around like crazy and I put a little piece of shrimp in there and he actually ate. So he's doing well in here. There he is guys, He just that's, that's the spot he likes. He likes that little corner there. So that's where he was um, this morning when I saw him, he was in that corner and that's where he's been all day. He just swam around for a bit. He is so damn cool in there, guys. I can't wait to actually feed him some live stuff. Now, leave me some comments down below of what other sharks you guys wanna see on the channel. I am I would love to just stock this pond with a bunch of sharks. That would be so freaking cool. Like bigger, bigger sharks, like maybe some hound sharks, maybe some other free swimmers. Let me know in the comments what you guys think I should get next. What kind of shark? What kind of shark I should get next for the pond? There he is swimming back there, guys. 
That is so sick, dude. I love that thing. That thing's awesome. Now, thank you guys so much for watching today. I'm going to be watching over this guy in the next couple days very carefully, making sure he's still doing well. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.